Hello there you guys, Crystal here. Welcome back to Rosebuff. Today is October 27th, 2017, and it is 6.21 a.m. in the morning. How are you guys doing? I'm sorry if I sound incredibly tired and also a bit more quiet than usual. Uh, I'm the only one up, and I wanted to record before I left for work, so hopefully this picks up okay. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are doing okay. I'm very sorry about not filming yesterday. I really should have. But, uh, as some of you may have seen on my Twitter, I just was not in the mood. I was having a very bad day. Anyway, good luck, Crystal. Uh, these shoots are for you. I don't think anything special is going to happen if it's a perfect fit, or if they're a perfect fit. But wouldn't it be so nice if something did? Talk about a fairy tale story. Fairy Godfather O'Hare. It would have been so much better if he said Fairy Godmother. I didn't mail off these letters. Ma'am? Completely forgot about that. Green buckled shoes. Ooh. Ooh, hon, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, so, uh, plan today. We've never actually recorded this early before, so Rose Wolf first. Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna wander around, make sure the town is in good order, and then maybe we'll do some fishing because, and I guess bug hunting. And I guess diving. <laughs> I always just say fishing. Uh, just because, you know, there might be stuff that we haven't been able to catch because we haven't been up so early. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Today is actually my last day at uh, this job that I have had for the last... Uh, it's been about six months. Uh, I'm very excited. I'm also very nervous. I don't like change. This is a really big change. <laughs> um, so... There's kind of a double reason why I'm playing Animal Crossing so early in the morning. Um, it's very relaxing. It's something that I can just mellow out to, so I hope you guys don't mind. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, so we were only able to find three fossils again Ooh, last time, so hopefully I find four today. I don't, I don't know if maybe I was just being blind or, or what, but it's really frustrating when that happens. Uh, oop. See, like that. I think it's because the ground color is changing. Uh, the difference in color between the the dirt or the uh, the dig spot and the the grass has changed. So like it, it it's harder for me to see, or at least that's what I'm gonna blame it on. As if I wasn't just finding three fossils all summer as well. <laughs> okay. So. Question of the day, you guys. What are you guys doing up to today? What is your weekend plans? It is Friday after all. Um, I myself am going to be spending a lot of it relaxing, trying to get ready for the new job. And also I'm going to be streaming Luigi's Mansion because this is the last weekend to do it. I want to finish it by Halloween. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. We're on the end of the fourth mansion, I think. Um, and I don't think we're anywhere close to finishing it. Or like, beating that boss and then moving on to the next one, which I heard is a very, very, very long mansion. Oh, no wait, we did get a pink one. Cool. I was just gonna start complaining how these have not bred anything but white, but I would be lying. Okay, I'm just gonna put this back. I don't even know if this, this pattern is needed here, but I'm gonna put it back anyway. I've just been kind of tossing these over here, I guess. I should probably put them somewhere proper, but I haven't thought of a place yet. Uh, I think I was... Actually, I don't know what I was doing with those. These I was putting in this area right here for the time being. Uh, no clue. Just gonna shove here. All right, and we actually did manage to breed another pink one, so maybe I should try breeding pink and pink together. See how that goes. But I'll leave a red one down as well. There we go. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and water these then. I'm feeling pretty good about how we're coming along in terms of hybrids. There's obviously still a lot that I don't have. Um, of course, I'm not going to bother getting roses. You know, I've put in my time. 
I've bred my own blue rose. I know how annoying that is. I have no desire to do that again. Uh, should I leave the- yeah, you know what, I'll leave that there. I'm just gonna come down here and water it as well. There we go. Okay, so I know this isn't the best layout. There isn't very much space, but it's the best I can really do. I didn't want to come marching down to the beach every day anymore. Okay, nothing there. Let's switch back to our shovel as well. Ooh, I know, I just saw something we can talk about. Um, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp was announced. I don't know how you could have not heard about that. Um, I even have a video up about it. It was the one I uploaded. Uh, I don't think it was yesterday. Maybe it was yesterday, actually. I'm not sure. Um, I'm very excited. It looks very fun. Do I think it's a replacement or the end of New Leaf? No. No, it's not. It's not a full Animal Crossing game. There's no way. People are still going to play this. Uh, this series is going to continue. Um, I have to get around to answering people's questions on that because I've had a lot of people ask me that. Uh, which is kind of surprising. I thought you guys would realize, but that's okay. Um, so quiet. Villagers are... Villagers are still sleepy. Um, <laughs> pretty much... Oh, Gal is awake. Good morning. Looks like the beginning of another beautiful day. I just rearranged a few things at my house, so I was thinking it'd be nice to have a friend over. Would you like to come visit Crystal? Sure, now. That's great. Oh. No. I'll say seven, but I need to leave for work, Gala. <laughs> I, I wish. Oh, Mel was awake too. Oh, oh, oh. Why do you look angry? You're right, that could work. Now we have three good present ideas to choose from. See, Train, we're just trying to come up with the perfect present for Shep. Maybe you can help us. Yes, perfect timing, Crystal. Would you like to weigh in? Which of these do you think would make the best present? Handkerchief, pack of gum, cookie cu What? These are terrible. Um, give them a hang ha handkerchief? I think that's how you're supposed to say it. I'm not sure. <laughs> hmm. I agree. You must be pretty good at picking out presents. Thank you so much for your help. I hope he likes it. I don't know why you guys are giving him a present. I don't think it's his birthday soon, but we did have two birthdays coming up. Uh, not Bob. Bob is in January. Wait, oh no, who was the other birthday? Wasn't it Gaston's birthday tomorrow on the 28th? Oh no, was it the 26th? Oh no! Oh, now I'm second guessing myself, oh no. <laughs> Okay, so I need to smother him in presents if I missed it, because I feel bad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we got... Like, I know that there was Wade at the end of the month, but then there was another another letter that we got. Ooh, hello. Was that all four? I think that might have been all four, you guys. Yeah, oh my god, we got it. Yay. Not sure which one was the one that I missed last time, but... Breaking news, in a stroke of pure luck, we have received a rather fine eight lamp. <laughs> I think I'm good, thank you. I don't know why I'm checking over here, to be honest. I found all four fossils, but... I don't know, like, I do. You know what? I, I have no reason, actually. Katie would not be here. I haven't had someone visit or I haven't gone traveling in a little while. Um, I don't think there'd be any lost items up there because of how uh, dense the flowers are uh, and no fossils. So I'm not sure. Just pure habit, I guess. Okay, so I was kind of... Yeah, you need to move. I was kind of shoving... Uh, these things up here and I'll be breeding some more pink lilies honestly I like this combination I just don't like it here um, I, I don't want the common like the you know like the orange or the black flowers outside roost though I want to go for a different color combination but I'm not sure what so if you guys have any suggestions I'm more than open to uh, to taking a look 
And uh, even if it's not flowers that I myself haven't, that I haven't bred yet, that's totally fine. Also, you're not open yet, are you? Uh, Red Gallery preparing to open opens at 10 a.m. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Well, maybe I'll have to come back on later on. Um, I've been threatening to bring my game to work with me on so I could like play it on the bus because I take public transit. Um, but uh, because this this version of Animal Crossing is a digital download, it's saved onto this 3DS, which has my capture card installed on it. And I, I don't really want to move it too much. I don't want to bring it out. I don't think it's left my room uh, since I got it. Like, I, I really don't want to uh, uh, accidentally knock it or drop it in the wrong way or something like that. Because uh, it was fairly expensive. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, it's so quiet on Main Street. This is different. <laughs> let's go uh, get these fossils assessed. We can't really sell them because retail isn't open yet. Uh, but I might just drop them somewhere and then focus on some fishing or some diving. I think diving, you know, because I, I don't really do much of that. Uh, and I feel like I've definitely never done diving this early. You know what's one thing that I didn't see in the Animal Crossing trailer, the Pocket Camp? And of course, I know it's not a full Animal Crossing game, I can't expect everything in this to be in that. Um, my, my thing with it is, uh, I didn't see any outright collectibles, like maybe the fish and the bugs and stuff are actually, like they're counting in a journal somewhere or something. But we didn't see it, we just sold them, uh, sold them, <laughs> saw them being sold for bells and such, so it's kind of an interesting idea. Um, you know what? Really quickly, I'm gonna go update our dream. Um, Luna is open, I think, 24-7, so you guys can always go in here if you want, no matter the time of day. But, uh, it's a pretty time of day to save my town, and I hope you guys enjoy it if you do decide to visit. Once again, if you guys want to visit the dream of my town, I get asked this question pretty much every single video or every single episode of the series. Um, my dream address is in the description of pretty much every single episode of this Let's Play, and I also have the dream address for my old town, Rosewood. There is a difference. <laughs> I haven't had... Perfect, yeah, I haven't had the number of uh of my dream address change in a good couple of months and i think i figured out why it was doing it and i can't remember if i mentioned this during the time but pretty much uh and i noticed this of course not with this copy because this copy is exclusive to this 3ds but if i played with my rose wood wood sorry file on a different 3ds and tried to save the dream address from there the dream address would change so it's somehow linked to the 3ds and i know like you know if you make enough changes to the town your dream address will change also i believe um i'm not exactly sure how they measure it but it is uh something that i've been aware of <laughs> okay so um how much do i have on me yeah, let's go ahead. Let me just drop drop this here. Um, let's just go ahead and maybe stick this stuff in my secret storage for the time being. I'll come back and sell it later on in the day or maybe tomorrow. Who knows? Um, and then I will also uh, take out my diving suit. What oh, wrong button. This is all my Halloween stuff. I'm going to put it right here. Uh, and then I want to keep all of that stuff on me. 
I know that it takes up pocket space, but I can't be too fussed. There we go. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at our encyclopedias here. Um, the bug one, we have a lot of the beginning ones, and then we kind of start to taper off. Um, we have the island bugs, of course, and then thankfully this last row right here... This one not so much, but we got these creepy crawlies. The fly was something I got very early on, just because of how you get it. Um, I'm not sure what's in this middle slot right here, but... We'll figure it out. Oops, wrong button. Uh, we have... Surprisingly, not as many fish as I think we should. But we have all the all the end ones once again, which are the, I guess, harder to catch ones. And then on here, we're missing one, two, three, four. So, hopefully this one... This one was the one that I could not catch in my other town. It was so frustrating. And then I went to the island one day on stream with you guys, and I caught it, and it was amazing. Um, but yeah, let's go do some diving. I'm not sure if, you know, any of those four are catchable, or... I guess catchable is the right word, um, right now. But might as well give it a try. I don't know how rare those ones are. I have not looked into this at all. I've never actually even completed a diving collection. I've completed the fish collection. Uh, I think I've come very close to completing the bug collection. I've never done the paintings or the uh, diving creatures, obviously. I kind of love how weird trees look from this angle and how like you can kind of see through them and how like it looks like the fruit or floating jellyfish no you're not allowed to touch my booty right now <laughs> i know that you get to touch it when i'm doing the diving trick but not now okay whoops whenever i swim too close to captain's boat i get stuck so <laughs> i'm uh, i'm gonna avoid doing that As a side note, I hope you guys have been enjoying the other series I have going on right now, of course. We have Farmer Fran, which is very short, very cute, just really simple. I hope that it's a very relaxing video for you guys. We also have uh, Kingdom Hearts, which is coming to a very quick end. Um, I'm just doing end game content right now. Uh, what else do we have going on? Ukulele, which is a lot of fun to film. It's very easy to edit, but like I feel like I run out of episodes so quickly because I can only you know film them as I'm with both Irvin and Mike. So there's a lot of times when I want to film it, but I just plain old can't, which I guess is the downside of doing a collaboration with, you know, anyone. Um, but yeah. Um, what else? Pretty much that's it right now, I guess. Um, I was working on Yonder, and I don't even know what happened to that. I need to, like, restart it and try again, because... I've lost what I was doing. I don't remember the controls. Oh, oh, there he is. Hey, man, how about you give me that scallop you caught? Ah, uh, here you go. Thanks, man. I left you something cool in exchange. While I'm at it, mind if I drop some deep truths on you? If you're the only normal person in a group of weirdos, does that make you the weird one? Man. You dig? Today is totally righteous. I love him. He is just the cutest thing. Oh, does he only swim around the bottom area? 
Oh well. Oh no 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 no. Hi. Hi, I'm here. No. Don't. 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 There we go. Okay, I already had that as well. Um, in terms of stream stuff, also, of course, working on Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, we're nearly done that, although we do have some work to do. Um, I will be doing two games after Luigi's Mansion that I'm very excited about. We're going to be working on a game called A Hat in Time, and we're also going to be working on a game that just came out today where I am actually I'm gonna go buy it after work because I am gonna need it I'm gonna be an emotional wreck after work um wait did did anyone else just see that it looked like a oh it was you what are you doing there buddy what are you doing oh you were the cutest thing I love you Oh, look at him. I wish we could interact with him more. He's just the sweetest thing. But anyway, um, <laughs> um, we're going to be playing uh, Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, or is it just Mario Odyssey these days? I don't even remember. Um, I'm going to go get it today, though. I'm very excited. It looks fantastic. Um, and... Like, you know, I, I enjoyed uh, Super Mario Sunshine. I grew up with that game. Never beat it. I'm bad at platforming, and I'm not going to be good at this one either. Um, I enjoyed Super Mario 3D World. I love the look of Super Mario Galaxy, but unfortunately, I have an incredibly weak stomach, and for some reason, that game just made me nauseous. And it might have been the turning. I, I don't know what that was, but I get nauseous over stupid things, though. <laughs> I get nauseous when I play first-person games, like uh, if I was playing, for example, Fallout or, or Skyrim. Um, I get nauseous over that for some reason. Like, I think it's like almost the, the... It might be the view distance, I'm not sure, but something about it. Is this new? <gasps> yes! Awesome. But yeah, something about it makes me nauseous. Um, that's why I tend to just go for, you know, a bit more chill third person games, you know, Animal Crossing, Harvest Moon, Stardew, of course. Uh, Pokemon kind of chill. Kind of not chill. It's, it's, it's chill. It's, it's pretty chill, I guess. <laughs> oh, we caught another one. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm happy that we got it. Oh, is this another one? Are we just going to be doomed to catching nothing but that? Nope. Never mind. So, for you Kingdom Hearts fans out there, and I don't know how obscure this is going to be, but the color of the sea slug- can I- oh, I can't even open my menu right now. Uh, the color of the sea slug, all the different colors and how they're very bright and vibrant, remind me of the gummy ship pieces that you could find in Kingdom Hearts 1. And I know that's super obscure. <laughs> I should like find a picture and put it on the side here because it's it's definitely uh, kind of weird. I already have one of those. I think we're running out of pocket space really soon, so I might just ooh, make a turn up onto the mainland here in a second. Oh, no. I already have one of those. Mmm, don't go under. Okay, good, you're not moving. <laughs> uh, I already had that as well. Man. Game, why can't you give me good things? Maybe it's only nighttime. Maybe that's what I'm missing. I don't know when I go diving usually, to be honest with you. Oops, nope, that disappeared. Okay, well, let's just get out of the water for a second and see what I got. My character's probably gonna start shivering. No, no, had to sneeze. Uh, oh, wow, that, that was actually perfect. Never mind. <laughs> 
Um, so let's go ahead and donate this. I don't know what to do with these now, though. I guess I could just throw them back in. Because I, I don't... I don't need them. <laughs> hmm, okay. Um, yeah, let's go straight to the museum, I guess. I love how my character keeps her shoes and socks on when she changes into her diving suit. But then again, like, I don't, I don't know if these are still even a thing. But I remember being a kid and going... I guess kind of paddling, kind of swimming, uh, in, I believe it was lakes <laughs> when I went to go visit BC and my mom always made me put on like these water shoe things and like they're very form fitting, but it was so, I guess it was so I didn't like cut my feet on like any sharp rocks or anything. And I think there was also like, I don't know if it was leeches, I don't know if that's the right word, there's something in the water that we had to coat ourselves in something. It was something oily. I don't remember what it was before we wanted to go in. Oh, wait, whoops. <laughs> and then I remember my friend who came with us, she didn't want to coat herself in this stuff, but then she got all upset when she got bit, I guess? I don't- I honestly don't remember what it was. Um, by whatever was in the water. I remember my, my aunt had absolutely no sympathy for her. <laughs> okay, well, we have three left. That is pretty darn good. I think we're actually going to finish that before we finish the other stuff at this rate. Um, let's remove our wetsuit here. There we go. Oh, I just remember the other series I'm working on. <laughs> Visiting the Eurodream Towns, of course. I have a lot of videos stockpiled for that now. I've been working on it. We've actually reached the line on the list, if you guys know what I'm talking about, where uh, I'm no longer accepting dreams within a certain or below a certain size. Uh, so that's very exciting. I've changed up the layout and the thumbnail and everything for it, and I think it looks gorgeous. I hope you guys like it as well. But anyways, you guys, I think I'm gonna have to end it here. I do have to go to work this morning, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.